G'day, Tony from Tony Wall Coaching here. How you going? Um, today I got a question, how do I build my chest? So obviously this person wants a big chest, wants a full, maybe wants a striated, wants it nicely shaped, just pretty much bigger. It's like, okay, I can help with that. Okay, when we're doing exercises, we're targeting different parts of the chest. So we could have a well-developed upper chest, but not necessarily well-developed lower chest. So I'll give you some exercises where she'll target different areas of the chest so we can build them all up. Okay, but um, just before we get into that, I just want to say to build the chest, we need to have many workouts. It's not going to happen overnight, and it's going to be breaking down that muscle and letting it rebuild as many times as we can and slowly get bigger and bigger. And that's given that you're giving it adequate nutrition. You're giving it the protein to rebuild itself and also the carbohydrates to increase in size. Okay, So it's not going to work if you're starving yourself. You're not going to pack on the size no matter how many times you go to the gym. And it's not going to build nicely if you're just eating many carbs, but you're not doing the workouts to shape it and build that muscle. And basically you just be putting on fat. Okay, anyway, to the exercises. Okay, so say we're doing the mid part of the chest. We we'll do a push-up, just with the hands here, okay? Or a bench press, just mid-range, okay? If we're doing the upper part of the chest here, we do an incline bench, which will go up. It's not as high as a shoulder press, okay, straight up, but to here, an incline bench press, okay? So we'd have our bench back on like a 45, 30, 45 degree angle, and then just lay back and press there, okay? Okay, when we're doing the lower part, we would do dips on dip bars. We're pushing doing the dips, or we just do a decline press, pushing down, okay? And basically, we'd be lying back on a bench and doing the decline part. Now, if you don't have the equipment and what you're trying to do is an at-home um, workout, Basically, what we could do is to do the incline, we could just um, put our feet on the ground and raise our hands up onto a box or a chair or something. We'll be doing the incline part. If we want to do the decline part, we put our feet up onto, sorry, no, it's reversed. If we're doing the incline, our feet will be up on the box. And if we're doing the decline, our hands will be up on the chair and our feet will be down. So sorry to confuse you there a little bit just a little bit backwards when you're doing it with equipment rather than on the benches okay and if you're doing a mid-range just do it normal normal push up on the ground okay okay now if you want to mix it up a little bit okay when we bring our hands in and we do like a diamond push up like this okay basically we're hitting the triceps a bit more because when we push we're hitting the front deltoid part of the shoulder shoulder we're hitting the chest we're hitting the triceps, okay? If we bring our hands in here, doing a diamond shape, we're hitting the triceps more, okay? So if we bring our hands out here, more chest. If we bring our hands out further, you guys can't see it, but they're out even further, okay? There's more chest as well, okay? So also another way to, to hit the chest is when we have some dumbbells, we're doing flies. So hands come all the way out, not the single one, right out, right out. Stretch that chest out, and then in, and you'll be lying on a bench and doing this called flies, okay? And middle part of the chest, and also getting good stretch, okay, right across, okay, good stretch. Yeah, okay. And these other ones as well, but don't we get too complicated. You can lie across the bench with just your back on the bench and your feet off, and grab a dumbbell like this, and stretch the rib cage, and do pullovers like this, okay, here. Stretch it out, pull over. And that also works well, being able to suck in the stomach, work on your vacuum. It's a type of bodybuilding pose, your vacuum. <sighs> like that. If you ever want to see a great vacuum, king of the vacuum, Frank Zane. Frank Zane, you should Google that. Really good. Okay, anyway, so that's basically how you build up the chest. So those are some exercises. Um, it's not going to happen overnight. I do those exercises and do them many times. Over a long period, you'll build given that you're getting enough protein and you're getting enough carbohydrates as well. So I hope that answers your question. Okay, thank you.